Good morning and welcome to Fresh, cooking with the Australian Women's Weekly. We have a terrific show for you today. Lindy takes us into the weekly test kitchen for another fast and easy pasta dish. Then it's back to the studio for poached artichokes with citrus vinaigrette. Before I'm joined by the effervescent and always amusing Virginia Hay. From top fashion model to Mel Gibson's co-star in Mad Max 2, Virginia Hay has become one of the most recognisable faces in the country. So how could this cover girl resist the challenge to cover up for her latest role in the hit sci-fi series, Farscape? Sam, listen. Yes, John? Odds are that I'm not gonna make it. Positive spirits, I pray to the goddess. Yes, but reality tells me. Your soul is troubled. When the chip's not controlling me, my thoughts are lucid. There are so many things that I want to say to my family and friends. Virginia, welcome Hello. to Fresh. Nice Thank to you meet for you. having me. I must admit, oh, I didn't. One of those. No, I won't. <laughs> Look, I must admit, I didn't recognize you from the piece that you're doing because you're blue and you're bald. And... Yeah, I know, it's a bit difficult to recognize me like that. Yeah. But uh, really, this is a prosthetic piece that I'm wearing. Underneath, I am bald and I'm blue. Seriously. <sighs> no, the makeup artist did a really good job covering it up today. It takes, the makeup takes between three and five hours every day to put on. Wow. The blue, yeah. yeah. You gotta sit there and, I mean, it's remarkable what's being done. It's good, isn't it? It's really beautiful makeup, mm. though. If you saw it up close, you'd just. But do you know what? I'm a chef. Let's cook. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what so, are you cooking? Well, I thought I'd do something that, um, that I do myself. Um, you know, as opposed to choose something that's complicated and pretend that I was an amazing cook. I'm going to be realistic. Um, we only ever have a few minutes at, at night to read our lines and prepare yeah. something and eat before we go to bed. So I'm doing pasta um, with... Uh, it's absolutely delicious with some basil and some rocket, um, tomato, ricotta cheese, uh, red onion, capers. It's so easy, it's so simple, and it only takes about five minutes to do. And, Summer uh, timer? Timer. No! Let's go. Don't do it to me! All right, so this is already pre-cooked. Yes. Um, so it's pretty... You could have this raw, actually, as is, but we're just going to put that... Well, raw, cooked and raw, you know what I mean. So, can I have a little implement to pop that in? Thanks, hon. So... Thanks, hon. <laughs> well, I feel very... I feel very close to you. There we go. So pop that in, stir it around. And as soon as that heats up, it's done. But usually, you buy ribbon pasta and it's not soft like that. It's, it's hard and it's in a packet and you have to boil it for about five minutes. Yes. Um, and then once it's al dente, then you um, lift it out of the boiling water and you strain it and put it in a bowl. Make it sound so good. And then we add all of these um, ingredients. So that, this stuff you just add raw or cold? Yes, you just add raw. So the basil, I think you just, it's okay. You can get close because I'm not going to use a knife on you really. <laughs> Seriously. All right. I'm not, my character is a real psycho, murder, no, know, crazy. Okay. She's, a political assassin, but... Do um, we have a smaller knife? No, this is fine. And you don't want to, you don't want to chop it into teeny, weeny, weeny, tiny little, you know, um, sections. Just strips like that. Yes. Okay, so that goes into a bowl. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. We're using a silver bowl, so we'll put it in there. A silver bowl, it looks... Yeah, it's bigger. so much nicer. Should we pull this pasta out? Yes. Will you do that for me? I'll do that for you. Lovely. So, and can you strain that? Oh, yeah. Great. How's that? It's a potless oh, strain. Oh, very good. <laughs> will you put some, a little bit of olive oil in that for me? Yes, I will. Please. Can you, you pass, pass it? it? Yeah. Absolutely. No, that's balsamic. Okay. That one. This one? Yes. Cool. A bit of extra oh, that's a, that's a really good one, too. Yeah. So the greener it is, the better it is. That's right, isn't it? Well, I think, one? Yeah, I think that's right. More flavour. Mm. It's the first press of the olives. Well, look, that's... Oh, yum. Straight into but the bowl. Shove that in there, then. Beautiful. So we've got Beautiful. our hot pasta. Yes, got the hot pasta. And just stir that through. I and then I'd we'll eat... add all the other ingredients. I don't think you need to add all the other ingredients. I'll eat that if just you made that... it for me. Oh, look, I'll eat it like that, too. But, you know, the weird thing about um, working on a, a series, a TV series, is that, you know, most people imagine that you have 
you know, 12 hours off and you're being massaged and no. pampered and but you're really not it's it's pretty full-on and uh, most days I get up at about 4 30 in the morning go wow. to the studio so you need to you have to have these dishes yes. quick simple dishes really really simple really quick yeah. high carbs yep absolutely low fat and um, look, you don't want to eat anything that's too stodgy late at night because it's going to be sitting in your tummy. Yeah. So um, I have a quick meal like this, yeah. and then uh, then I learn my lines, um, which takes about you know half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and then um, put myself to bed, and that's it. Then up again at the crack of dawn. So it's really simple and it's very nutritious. You just need some cracked pepper. Do you have any? Uh, this is a kitchen. <laughs> Do you have any stupid question? It's not really. You know, you don't know my kitchen. So where yet. did you learn to cook? Did you have a fantastic mother that used to teach you amazing well, dishes? Well, I have a fantastic mother. I learned to make oh, rissoles yes. and pancakes and May things. I have a little bit more cracked pepper, please. <laughs> I'm pushy, aren't I? You are Sorry. pushy, but you know, look. I won't say. I'll... But you love it. But you love it. <laughs> look, my passion and for food is. Mm -hmm. is reading books and working with a fantastic mentor at oh. um, Bistro Moncur. So if oh, you're ever in the, in the, in the um, area, drop in. Oh, to your place? Oh, gee, thanks. The restaurant. Oh, the restaurant. Or my house if you want. <laughs> I thought you were inviting me over to yours. I was thinking, you're a forward young man. But Never. that's quite nice, quite nice to be flirted with in this time of day by a gorgeous young man. But look, this pasta looks fantastic. Yeah, you've got something is, else to do for It is fantastic. Us. I do. And look, this is done, believe it or not. All we have to do is put this up, capers, put fresh this capers. on a plate. Put yeah. Fresh capers. Yeah, so look, in there is uh, fresh ricotta cheese. It's light ricotta cheese. We've got pasta, we've got basil, we've got rocket, we've got um, onions, tomato, and that's it. And it's and basil. It looks fairly low fat, yes. high carbs, yes. some fresh ingredients there. Yes. You're going to do a dessert after yes. the break. Absolutely. Stick around. We'll see you soon. Welcome back, Virginia. You've got another recipe for us. I do, yes, and uh, it's figs in vanilla port, and it's mm. really delicious. So, in goes the port into a fry pan. How much port do you have there? Um, just a, a cup of port, mm -hmm. and or just a, a little over a cup, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which would be about two of Our those. Figs are beautiful at the moment. They're in season. Pop the sugar in. Stir it, and figs are in season. You know what I love to do too? Sometimes is um, just pop. Actually, do you have a wooden... <laughs> You've got a wooden spoon. <laughs> He's naughty. So I have a wooden spoon. <laughs> and... <laughs> so, uh, what I love to do sometimes is uh, put a fig on a plate, covered in maple syrup, put some sour cream next to it, and Bob's your uncle. But this is, well, if you have a little like bit... Fat. It's really nice, yeah. Sometimes it's really, you have really to really indulge, nice. don't you? Sometimes you have to indulge. And this is not that fattening. I know most people like to um, choose low-fat meals. Don't they, mm. these days? But um, look, while that's simmering, it's going to take about a minute. You can tell me the story of your life. How much have we got? We've got a minute. <laughs> We've got one minute. So look, all you have to do then... Well, I'm single. I'm... You're still single. What's a gorgeous guy like you being single? Tut tut. Help me out. <laughs> dear, oh dear. No, I don't, you know, Women of life. Australia, right in. OK. So what we do, um, we've already pre-done a couple of these for you. So what you do, you grab a little bowl like that, put a whole fig in, one that's cut in half, add the sauce once that's simmered for one minute, um, pour the sauce over and that's it, done. And then you could just pop a little cream on top. Delicious. Virginia, that looks stunning. I can't wait to eat it. But Thank maybe you. if you're cooking dinner one night, give me a call and um, I'll come and check it out then. <gasps> a date. You said it. I just asked me out on a date. <laughs> Virginia, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. I had Good. fun. <laughs> Me too. Good luck with Farscape, huh? Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Bye. See ya. Fresh! <laughs> well, yeah, well, I...